Hi uh, everybody, welcome back to Borderlands 2. My name is Mikey Dubs. Do more challenge runs, they told me. Do more challenge runs. Well, as much as I like a pure experience and I don't typically do challenge runs, I think I can blend the two by doing a Saw Rival Axon. Maybe this could be the way for me. Hoping to get a nice lucky shield here. How about a... a this one's 1. 1.6 mil off rip. A nice big assault rifle would be crazy here. A bang stick and a transaction. Listen, as much as I like them, I'm not taking them. We were going assault rifles only. But if we... Oh! Please give me an assault rifle. Please. You know assault rifles to start. We're going to be going out there uh, unwielded. Just make sure, just make sure. Jacob's recoil. Okay, we could go with Jacob's assault rifle. That'd be sick. All right. Grenades. Grenades can help us out here. Um, and opening more red chests. Like ignoring enemies and opening red chests could go crazy. Oh, this is a nice one too. Pistols. No thanks. Now, assault rifles in this game have a minus 20% critical hit ratio, which is bonkers to me, but... And it, it is do be what it is is do is, you know what I'm saying? So magazines, I'll come back to that. I need to get going. Well, that fuse time was insanely long. If we don't get an, an assault rifle from any of these red chests, I think we might be doomed here. A launcher is no bueno. All right, what you got? I mean, we might just die on our way over here, to be honest. Hey. Eat that. We also need to... We, I mean, we're, we're going to have to dig deep for it. We're getting melee the ground. Oh, there's no assault rifle. I don't know what that is, but I can, I can look in here in a second. Here. Toss this grenade. Oh, explosive damage too. That's good. Good. Very nice. Is this a doll? Oh, it is a doll. That's kind of crazy. I like doll. And we're doing fine. 5 out of 15. That's a grenade. Turret that way. Hopefully they'll turn around. And what legendary did I get over here? It was a devil penetrating unkept herald. Oh my goodness. I mean, I think... Listen. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Oh my gosh. Should I? Should I go explosive damage? Let's see. And look at it. Just look at that bad boy. Oh. Jeez. I, I was gonna do a sorry full action, but sometimes you gotta... If the game throws you a bone, I mean, you gotta switch it up. Double penetrating, I'm gonna tear me. Let's go. I'm not afraid. This is my second one recently, too, as well. Uh, explosive damage. Explosive damage. Reload speed and mag size. Sure, we'll take these. They're better than nothing right now. Oh, the explosive damage goes insane. Yeah, sorry for all of you assault rifle enjoyers. Like, <laughs> you can never predict what the world might have in store for you. Hoping that some of these land crits. Nice. Wait, these enemies are all supposed to despawn. What happened to my 1.0.7 update? Alright, let's see. And we got some amazing... Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Like, uh, what am I gonna do? This is an absolutely amazing assault rifle for an assault rifle run. Oh, man. Tough to decide. What are the skills that this one gives us? Oh, it's a, a left side tree. Hmm. Let's take impact. And we can move on. Double penetrating on Cap Herald is really tough to deny. I'll be honest with you. I mean, just look at it. It is Borderlands. All right. Let's see. Lob slide transfusion. I think we can get behind a lob slide transfusion because we just throw it at the ground. Keep it simple. Those should slag him. There we go. So that'll be good for bosses. 
There's a transfusion, so it's going to heal me up. And it's good for rabbit skags. I'll set my feet. Circle it. Now these won't hurt. These won't hurt me. There we go. Just like that. It's easy. Rabbit skags don't stand a chance. I run back here. Is there a pressure plate behind here? Yes, there is. That's crazy. All right, what do we get? I'm mean, starting to mix it up now. You never know what what the game has in store for you. All right, come on. We're pretty close to me to going to absolutely to the moon here. A class mod that that does something for us would would be the thing, the bump, to get us get us through. And access to a lot of healing is important as well. If we're gonna beat the dragons, we're gonna need we're gonna need a lot of healing. The gun kept hurl is good, but it's not enough. Oh, sticky loved Merv. I accidentally just equipped. I want to keep the slag. I want to keep the slag because it's my only way to slag for now. And I don't have to slag enemies, but stick. Uh, slagging enemies gives me, I think, double damage, so. We take that stuff like that for sure. Thanks for the assault rifles. We'll try assault rifle axe the next time. Nope. None of that. Five points, though. I, I, I very much like the metal storm skill. Killing an enemy dramatically increases your fire rate and, reduce re and reduces recoil for a short time. 60% fire rate is a 60% damage increase. So, we take that. Especially with increased magazine size and reload speed, like, we're gonna be doing just fine here. Open this up. Kill enemies as they approach. There we go. Hoping to see some looted enemy or loot enemies. A homing Tesla... For now, I think it's slightly better than my transfusion. If I get low on HP, I can swap back to the transfusion. That increased fire rate is really nice. Emeragen and fire rate? Let's go. Oh, nice. I like that. Where are they at? Fire away. Don't even know where they're at? They're gone. So good, man. So good. Hey, what's going on here? Nice. Ooh, more pistols. I'm good. Does Axton have a... A pistol gun damage build? Nice. Okay. I know that he can go explosives. I'm, an explosive damage relic is the number one thing I'm looking for. It's a multiplicative damage increase. Explosive relic me? Assault rifle gun damage. You gotta be kidding me. It's like the game is throwing me bones in either direction. I, like, it was, I, I appreciate it. The game for rewarding me no matter what I choose. Uh, reduces recoil with all gun types. Do Torg rockets count as grenades? Let me look that up real quick. Alright, so reading online, it looks like this... This pistol does not get grenade damage bonuses. Let me know if I'm wrong about that, but it does get explosive damage bonuses. Ooh, that's a nice launcher. Take that. And make sure that my launcher's on spot four and my uncrypt on spot two. Five points in anything I want. Let's do... Um, the recoil reduction would be nice. Right, doesn't the recoil reduction help me out? It should as I get increased fire rate, right? Either way, I'll be tossing nades. Just an explosive damage relic. It's just what I need the absolute most. So I'll be checking. I'll be looking for relics as much as I possibly can. Oh, come on now. I think this is a game, Bonehead? Where you at? Plus some grenages. By junk loader, by bonehead. Oh, it's too easy. 
The Morning Star. I like it. Do I like it enough to pick it up? I think I actually do. Thank you. Come again. Is that... Is this... I think this weapon counts as having... Grenade damage bonuses. This Rocketeer. I could run that. I could definitely run that Rocketeer, but let's just go Unkept Herald. Let's keep going with it. We don't get a chance to run it that much, so we might as well. This question is, how are we going to stay alive? It's always the question in action, isn't it? Alright, some more points. Let's go... Man, extra grenade damage. So nice. Non-elemental guns. This is elemental. Technically. Let's do... I like this. I like this Battlefront skill, but let's go... While Saber Turret is deployed, you do more damage. We're going to have it deployed for most of the areas that we're fighting anyway. Let's go ahead and snipe something without dying. There's one skull. Two co oh, two skulls flying through the air. Let's go. Open up. Third skull's over here by a ramp. All right, what you got? Pow. Pow. Let's see, a longbow Tesla, a homing fire burst. It's a really big turtle shield. We take the turtle shield. It's massive. Wait, what's its re what's its recharge delay? 3.37. We can get that smaller. We can definitely get that smaller. Now, what is our grenade right now? A homing Tesla? We'll keep the homing Tesla. Helios Fallen. This should be fun. I think this is a bunch of loaders. Oh no, it's this lad. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That wasn't cool. Give him one of those. Shocking. Alright. Toss that out. Fire. Fire. Oh, that does huge damage to him. Let's get some fire rate. And go at him again. Saturn, or not Saturn, Uranus. Please don't die. I don't, the run almost just ended right there. That was almost it. Let's see, the Expeditious 1340 shield. If you can't beat him, join him. I'm not too sure I want that. The Deadly Bloom. The Rough Rider. Ooh, the Rough Rider could be fun. Right, because I can take increases in maximum health. Hmm. The lower your health, the higher the bonus. Axiom really does specialize in shields more than he does in... Oh, that's a sick quad. More than he does in HP. That, that being said, let's try it. Malevolent Grace. Reload Speed Magazines has Steady and Last Ditch Effort. I mean, mine... mine are f my a class mod needs replacement anyway, but not by that. We'd like to get something different. Is there an op a door that opens up that gives loot in this area, or no? It's pretty good loot, though, to be honest. Releasing a Nova Blast when health and shields are depleted is pretty nice. Either way, we're moving on. The Iridium Blight. Let's see how well I can push through this zone. The R Rough, Rough Rider is, should be pretty good for us. I kind of want to respec. Yeah, let's respec. 
and get some points into some other skills. We're definitely going to take some impact, that's for sure, and some metal storm. But other than that, I don't see a reason to go any further. I want to get to able. So let's increase our reload speed. Let's get some saber turret duration. And let's go points enable. Damaging enemy causes you to regenerate health for a few seconds. This, this does not stack multiple times. So this damaging enemy will, will just immediately give us health regen. How much? I'm not sure. But hopefully we can get a class mod that uh, boosts that up. There we go. It's, it's a modest amount of health regen. It's not a crazy amount of health regen. Just not that great for me. That is okay, though. Transfusion grenade would go hard. Hey, you hit me in the back. Oh, hot loader. Not good. I'm back up. I'm back up. I'm fine. I have very low HP, though. That's okay. We thrive under low HP conditions. Let's go. some of that HP. I like how it's damaging enemies and not killing enemies, you know? That means it's gonna work against a raid boss as well. Do we have a increased pellet count for a short time that we're gonna take for next round? Five points. And we're gonna go increase your maximum health. There we go. I think that'll be really, really good. I'll increase maximum health as well down here. So we could take last ditch effort, a ton more gun damage while I'm fighting for your life. That could be really, really, really good, actually. It's a ton, a ton of damage looking at it, the card now. Let's try it. Should I look for some of these secrets? I would like an explosive damage relic. Oh, here we go. Cooldown rate or oh, sorry, full damage. Let's take some cooldown rate. That'll be nice for us. I open up. Oh, here we go. Pistol max ammo, sorry, full max ammo, or second wind health. I like second wind health at 147%. Oh, here we go. Borderland symbol. Explosive damage, shield capacity, shield recharge right now. I'm good. We're going health, tank, unkept herald, Axton. Right, where did that power up go? Is it still up here? I think it's downstairs. Oh, lots of relics to choose from. Shotgun max ammo or explosive. There we go. Explosive damage. Now we're talking. Now we are most certainly talking. Let's go around the backside here and get our, our power up. Right, F2. Got it. The Forge. It's not going to be the best relic for this zone. Or best of power for the zone. Well, maybe it is. Later. <laughs> See ya. Where are you? There you are. One shotting everybody now. Imagine when I go into fight for my life. How much damage am I gonna do? See ya. Oh, loot, loot, loot enemy. Let's go. Resist. A Torg architect. Come on now. If you hit me, I'll become more possible than you could po po <laughs> ever imagine. Here we go. Oh, man. Who needs a second gun? Seriously. Let's see. The invader. Let's take a look at it, yeah? Oh. Damn. The thing looks sick. Sustain fire and aiming down sights. Let's, let's put it on here for a shock damage um, option. For sure. Borderland symbol. I mean, the only thing that's better than what we've got right now is a better explosive damage pistol. Alright, let's take some let's take some gun damage. We're gonna fight for your life. Plus 88%. It doesn't say gun damage though, it just says damage, so I wonder if it's universal or not. Cool down right? Nope. Not today. Not today. Today it's unkept herald time.
Let's go. Drop your preconceived notions of how the run's going to go. Oh. I always come down here expecting there to be like a secret. Like right around this corner, but there never is. There's something back there. Pyrex, Jolt's dude. Whoever, whoever uh, applies the updates. I think it's Pyrex. Um, something back there for me. And for me alone. All right, what you got? Okay, here we go. Some cooldown rate, some team fire rate, overload, overload and metal storm. Some team fire rate. I just don't, I mean, team, don't get me wrong. Team fire rate goes crazy in a co-op session. The unbelievable stats right there. But for this, I don't think, I don't see it going that hard. Whoa, can you back off, brother? I might go down. No, I'm good. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Don't get hit by the train. I think I'm pretty sure that the trains are run under. And with how strong we are, we definitely do not need to have a run under happen. Can't even see what I'm shooting at. See ya. We're pretty tanky as well. I mean, not mega tanky, not tanky enough to take on like very strong raid bosses that can drop you in one hit, but we're still tanky. Real speed magazine size, I'm good without it. Pull down rate, no, I'm good. What I need is like a, it's the mega high damage something. I mean, these base skills are, are nice though. Put some grenades out, cause I can't really see where all these enemies are at. There we go. Tesla's will help me illuminate where they're hiding. Whoa, ultimate badass? Oh. Not anymore, you're not. So let's go ahead and get five points in four barons. Reduce the duration of enemy elemental status effects on you. It additionally increases maximum health. There we go. Another 5%. Is it that worth it? Not too sure. This, this taking grit though, having grit up would be sick. I wonder, I think, I think it's probably worth it to be honest. You use the Rough Rider. We, we shape our build around the gear that we get. The Gub is a nice pistol for enemies that might resist explosive damage. I can just swap to Gub and be just fine. Again, the gub is just a corrosive, um, fast firing pistol. Not cool. That only did a little bit of damage to me, though. Okay, fine. Y you want me to use the gub that bad? I'll use the gub. Please stop running at me so quickly. Ow! I'm slagged. Well, I'm alive, I'm alive. I'm fine. Oil can me. There we go. Oil can number two is up top. But I want to get through these red chests real quick. What do you think you're doing, bud? Alright, let's run back here. Grab these two red chests. Let's see. A shield, a shield. Nope. Oh yeah, don't don't fall. All right, I need to get up there. Or where is? I have to remember where all these oil cans are at. To be honest with you, I know where a couple are. Let's do health regen a second. Maximum health, pressure, and grit. Are these the two skills that I like? No, this is terrible. That's, there's no way that's better than reload speed, reload speed and magazine size. What's study and pressure? Oh, I see. No. Let's take last-ditch effort and pressure. Alright, toss a turret down. Toss some grenades. 
This guy, I'm pretty sure, resists explosive damage. Does he resist it enough to resist the Unkept Herald's onslaught of damage? We'll see. Okay, we're okay. Give up the damage. Assassin Oni is one of the tankiest enemies in all of the rogue lands. Gone. Right at the right time. He gr drops the greasy orc. I wonder what this thing does. Doesn't look like it does anything too fancy. But it is a purple team fire rate overlord and metal st overload and metal storm. Be really great for assault rifles, but not for what I'm doing. All right, five points. I like the idea of let's see. Well, your shield is full. You regenerate health. Thing is, my, my shield's never full, and I know it's not full because um, when you had the Rough Rider, Death Trap will try to heal you back to full. Anything else work with maximum health? Killing an enemy increases your gun damage and movement speed. That could be really nice. But I kind of want to get down to this grit skill. Let's take action skill cooldown because it's the only one here that helps me. And I can get my action skill to, to help me out with my gun damage as well. So, should be fine. All right, oil can number two is behind these steps. And oil can number three is across the way on that little platform. A little railing, I should say. A pipe. Uh, an adaptive shield. I was going to say that works really well with our build, but it only works well with our build because we're running a Rough Rider. <laughs> Alright, we can F2 and get out. I think Grit could be a good skill for us because right when we're about to die, we'll come back to life. You're not going to... Oh my goodness. Please spawn in a helper. Wait, I do a ton of damage. I do, I do a ton of damage. Yes! Oh my gosh! The fastest Wilhelm run you've ever seen in your life. A Grog Nozzle, a Pimpernel, and a Morningstar. Okay, so here's what we do. The Grog goes into slot one. Let's, where's my Grog at? There it is. Grog goes slot one. Unkept Herald slot two. The Pimpernel is a really good sniper as well. Let's replace the Gub with it for now. What a what a run! Oh yeah, we go crazy. Do I have five points? I do finally. Let's see. Grit. Perfect. Twenty percent chance of ignoring death. I mean, uh. <laughs> I don't know how useful that is, to be honest. It's only 20% chance, but if it does work, it's going to work out crazy. All right, what do you got? I am a Vault Hunter. I have a lot of damage. I don't think I... My gear is so good, though. The Unforgiven, it's a hell of a thing. And a Hornet. The problem with getting so much gear is that you don't know... Oh my gosh, a plasma caster as well. Let's dump some, some wasteless, uh, worthless gear. Are right, you all ready? Boom! See ya. I plasma caster me. The problem with hitting this is that... Oh, finally a class mod. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Cool now rate. Gun damage. Fire rate. It's all of the initial skills. Or cool now rate, gun damage, fire rate. All of the initial skills. We can, I guess we can just equip one and see which one we like better. Do, 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 do. I think... I think this is fine. I mean, I might respec. Put one point into expertise, but other than that... I think this is a fine setup. Grit can help us stay alive. 
Wait, and you can get increased gun damage and melee damage while your shield is depleted? Uh, yeah, we're gonna definitely gonna respec and jump into that tree as well. Let's try to see how, how, what we can do. Okay, so we got the skill tree where we want it. I took less kill skills uh, because we're fighting a raid boss. We're not gonna be able to use it as much. And we're gonna get uh, double up, second gun and more saber turret along with action skill cooldown to kind of to blend with my blend with my class with mod a little bit more. All right, let's sign our character. I'll see you back in a second. All right, this is Olaf, my snowman accent. He is the king of adapting to his environment, especially being a snowman in summertime. All right, let's go on. All right, we're heading to Wham Bam Island. This is going to be Son of Cromrax. Hopefully, we have enough healing to get it done. Uh, we do have a Grog Nozzle that we can swap to at the, in, a, in a pinch to try to heal up. All right, let's go. Help me out here. How much damage are we going to do? We're going to do some good damage. Let's go. Come on. That's good deeps. That's good deeps. Get up. Slag, slag. Oh, he's invincible. That's why. Thank you. We're, we're clam. Oh, yeah. Perfect. This would be this would be nice to have some kill skills, but, you know, it is what it is. I'm just got to wipe out these, these ads real fast. I like this boss fight because it forces you to have a mobbing and a bossing build. Let's go. Graboid, see you later. Now, do you guys think we should go? We should try to go endless on this run? Oh, let's toss him down, my laddie. And we, we, even though he resists, we are absolutely fine. Not taking that much damage. Let's help out our turret here first for a second so that it can help me out by hitting the boss. Come on, buddy. Slag him up. Thank you. Not bad. That boy's got to go. Nice. Nice rockets. Nice rockets. We're not taking very much damage at all, to be honest. We try the pimper now. Of course, as soon as I pull the pimper now, I get an enemy immune to fire. Where you at? Oh, see ya. Oh man, that's never damage though. Crow's got no right to heal up that much, just saying. Reload. I'm destroying every ad. Where's Cromorax at? There he is. Cost you. We got this. Up, down, up, down, up, down, crawl. Refuse to fight me. Let's go. Imagine if I got a boss that didn't resist explosive damage. I'm not too sure how many there are, because I feel like all the raid bosses like resist everything. <laughs> nice. We're doing okay. Explosive damage relic is super nice. Um, let me say we just launch her a couple guys. Who in the world? Oh, you. Gone. All right, Corral, where are you at? Oh, ow, ow. Bark incinerator, you're gone. Arc a disintegrator. I don't really want you out here. I saw some some grenades out. That way, if I have to switch to my garage, I can if I get low. Yes, thank you, turret. Don't want to get knocked off the edge. Can you back off my turret, please? Both of you. Thank you. Making me use my ammo. Alright. Looks like Karaz gonna go down. Nice. Very, very clean. Very, very clean. Alright, did we get any good gear? Anything good? The infection cleaner. Sniper rifle, max ammo. Meteor shower, a hoplite. Jeez. A meteor shower do 
Let's see. Do something cool. It just spawns a lot of grenades. Okay. I mean, it's not a bad grenade. It's just... I'm not sure if it, it warrants the, the super fancy coloring that it gets. Mm. Honestly, I think that this run, you know, we've gotten to where we want to go. I'm not, I'm not so sure we really need to go on to the to the end. So that's going to be it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed the like button, subscribe to see more videos like this one. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.